What the? I, I, I gotta call the police! Damn it! No signal. Did I pass out? Huh? Who's that? Relax. I am not one of them. Who are you then? I'm nobody. What? You shouldn't be here. It's very dangerous. W wait. Why are you wearing a gas mask? Are you stupid or something? Do I look like I want to turn into one of them? Uh. I 
can't trust you. I don't know if you're real. Just leave me alone. Hallucinations? Am I going insane? Shit. I can't hear you. Who is this? Where are you? How did you get my number? Can you help me? What the fuck is going on in this town? I need to speak to you, Simon. I'm not from your roof. I'm just sorry. You're... what? You're up on the roof? I can't hear what you're saying. Hello? Hello? Are you still there? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, hi, Simon. What? I don't... I don't understand anything now. What is it that you don't understand? What do you think? The whole fucking city is crawling with... monsters and... I just... I mean, suddenly you just turn up on these rooftops? What are you doing here? Are you hurt? Monsters? Simon, you're scaring me. Scaring? What the fuck? This is just sick. <laughs> well, I... Maybe it's just... <laughs> Let's talk about something else. How have you been? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just... confused. Bad, thank you. Better now that you're here. Yeah, I'm. 
I'm glad you're here too, Sophie. I've been alone all this time. I see. Some stuff. But what about yourself? Why are you here? Are you hiding up here from those things? No. I really don't understand what you're talking about. I'm just thinking. Thinking? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of that too. Do you remember how you got here? I don't know. Yeah, because I woke up myself, but it wasn't an alley and... Wait, I can probably show you! No, hush Simon. Can't we just sit here for a while? Uh. Yeah. yeah, sure. Do you want to know something? Yes. Yes, I do. I want to know just what in the fuck is going on here. Is it about that doctor guy uh, in the gas mask? Doctor? Simon, please. No, I mean about school. Mm. Yeah? What? Well, I don't know if you knew, but I always had a hard time at school. You were... well, you were pretty much the only guy who was kind to me. I never said it, but I really want to thank you for making my life a little bit more bearable. You're a cute guy, Simon. Yeah. Yeah, you did have it pretty rough. Thank you. Yeah. I guess I helped you because I liked you. You were one of the prettiest girls at school and... I don't know, I just... I guess I wanted to protect you. I don't love you, but I think I could if we got to know each other better. You're so beautiful, Sophie. Why haven't you said anything? I never had the courage. I, I mean, I wasn't exactly the toughest kid in school, was I? But now we're here alone, I, I feel stronger. I've always liked you, Sophie. Oh, Simon. I don't know what to say. I always liked you too, but not in that way. I always thought that you were just a friend, nothing more. I'm sorry. Oh. But... Oh, shit. Damn, so much stuff has happened lately. All this... Craziness, the darkness, and, and the monsters. I think I'm going crazy. I'm so glad I found you. I know. A lot of things have been going on lately. Yeah, really. Was it you who tried to phone me, by the way? Yeah, I wanted to talk to you. To get away from it all. Oh, but, but what? Out here? No! Away from everything! Away from all this! Away from what? What do you mean? You know full well what I mean. W wait a sec, you... You mean all... No! 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 Sophie! Why did she? What the fuck? This... This isn't making any sense! Was it you who made her do it? Why? WHY?! YOU SICK FUCK! Sophie. Simon, let me go. I love you. I love you, Sophie. I have to leave. Please. I fucking love Just you. Just let me go, Simon.
Yes, he suffered severe spinal damage in the accident. It's a miracle he still retains upper body motion. From the waist down, however, there is no nervous response at all. Not to mention the mental trauma he suffered. From what I can tell, Simon is a deeply disturbed individual who had mental problems even prior to the accident. train. Sitting here like a fool. Feels like it was just a few seconds ago I was traveling here. No, think straight. I got hit by a car, woke up, and these things have been trying to kill me since. I mean, what is actually happening with me? Mom keeps telling me to get home, but why? How would that solve any of the crazy shit I've seen? I can't even contact the police here. Everything is just... Fucked. Could it be that I'm just... Hallucinating? No, s seriously. Am I? Or is there something else? Ugh, I keep thinking back at that doctor guy. Well, he is crazy alright. Could he have done something to me? Seeing as he wears a gas mask. Or is all this just not real? I'm confused. I'm just very confused. So many questions, but no answers. I'll see what happens when I come home. Crazy bastard! I'll kill you! 
You're so fucking dead! Simon, the pills by itself won't make you feel better. You have to do something more than that. I recommend that you try a new modern treatment called cognitive therapy. What's that? Well, it's a set of exercises you do. A way to forget the past, all the bad memories and anxiety you have. Are you interested in books, Simon? I don't know. Why? All right. I just wanted to find out, because I want you to try out something. I want you to write a book, a book about how you feel. Do you think you can do that? I guess so. I can try. Dear Diary, this is it. I have ended my miserable life. I couldn't take this shit anymore. Being trapped in a wheelchair for the rest of my damn life is just not worth it. The surgeons told me everything would be okay. They gave me hope. Crush it under the soles of their feet and watch me destroy myself. They lied to me! They didn't know what it felt like! I thought I could handle my emotions, control them, contain them, prove them all wrong, but I was just too weak. I let it slip through my fingers. Poisoned me. It clouded my mind. They didn't know anything. They only feel the cold touch of their knives. They gave me antidepressants. It helped me think clearly, to see things through. I took a couple of extra pills this afternoon. They showed me what I had to do in this short moment of clarity. They showed me that there was no one and nothing worth living for! They showed me how fake Sophie and my doctor were. How they were laughing at me behind their masks when I wasn't looking. Laughing 
at me, my legs, thinking that they are so good, that they're better than me, pretending that they care about me. It's all bullshit! The pills showed me the truth today. They always did. They opened my eyes. They gave me wisdom. And I acted upon it. So, I had to kill Sophie. And my doctor. <laughs> my mentor. My counselor. <laughs> I had to take them down with me. They're not laughing anymore. Oh. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have taken everybody with me. But unfortunately, my situation makes that impossible. To whoever is reading this, I hope my dead body will haunt you forever. Have fun scraping my brains off the wall. Fuck you!